Baykar, the Turkish company renowned for producing the Bayraktar TB2 combat drones, has announced a significant investment of $100 million in Ukraine encompassing three distinct projects. Ukraineform has reported that one of these projects involves the construction of a drone production facility, which is expected to be completed within the next 1.5 years. This announcement was made by Haliak Baraktar, the CEO of Baykar, during the recent Forum of Defense Industries held in Kiev. Baraktar elaborated on the company's investments in Ukraine, stating, we have three primary investments in Ukraine. One of them involves the construction of a factory. Additionally, we are establishing a service center and a head office here. This investment amounts to approximately $100 million, and the implementation process is already underway. Construction has commenced, and we anticipate it will be finished within 1.5 years. Our objective is to provide employment opportunities for at least 300 individuals here. Our collaboration is ongoing. He emphasized that this production venture aims to be self-sustainable and environmentally friendly. Ukraine possesses unique technologies for engine production, while Turkey specializes in drones that require these engines for operation. Bayraktar also acknowledged the challenges they face, such as managing the supply chain, recruiting and developing talent in light of the war's impact, and navigating the regulatory environment that supports these investments. Notably, the ongoing conflict has transformed into a war involving unmanned aerial vehicles, where Ukraine holds a particular advantage due to its utilization of various aircraft types, albeit with inherent difficulties in implementation. Under these circumstances, feedback from the military on technology usage is of paramount importance. As a result, the Bayraktars deployed in Ukraine have been equipped with a range of unique systems. Baykar's general director stressed their commitment to supporting Ukraine, stating, Our presence here is not solely driven by the pursuit of profits or revenue maximization. We are here to offer as much support as possible. We hold deep respect for your fight for freedom, independence, and the preservation of your sovereignty. He highlighted that all contributions from Baykar, Ukraine, and Poland have been directed towards critical purchases, including radar systems that have successfully identified thousands of targets and delivered significant results on the battlefield. The collective sum of these donations amounted to $106 million, as disclosed by Baraktar. Ukraineform reported the participation of 252 defense companies from over 30 countries in the inaugural Forum of Defense Industries in Kiev.